uh, that one slipped away. You led, uh, you were down two at halftime. You actually were down as many as 12 in the second half, but you came back and made a great game of it. And you had a chance at the end. You had a wide open three. Alex Chase just didn't get it to fall. But really, the one thing that really hurt the Tigers late in the game, you had two turnovers back to back on back to back possessions when it looked like you could get back in the game. And you still almost got back in the game, coach. Yeah. Man, that's what we just talked about. This one, we gave that to them. I don't want to take anything away from Kenyon because they shot really well. Yes. Right? I mean, we, our game plan was exactly, and they just shot the ball well. But we have to make sure that we're not just playing at the beginning of the game and end of the game. We have to play the whole entire time. And the other part we talked about is we had crucial turnovers at moments that we can't. You have to execute those moments, and we're not doing that right now. Yeah, Coach, uh, and we talk about Grace Conway and, uh, and Jessica Gerber. They, all their points came on threes today. Yeah. Conway had five of them off the bench, and Jessica Gerber had four. And again, you talk about right when it looked like you're getting back in the game, and you talk about those crucial, crucial turnovers are, is really a killer. Yeah, and I mean, you, you practice as much as you can to play through those moments, and when you, you are not executing them in games after you've gone over them in practice, it's really disheartening. Uh, again, Coach, what do you do? Because we've talked about this has been a little bit of a problem with the Tigers this year. You've gotten out to some leads, and they just slip away. How do you get that killer mentality into them to keep, that, to, you know, to keep the, the foot on the, on the pedal? That's exactly what we just talked about. Yeah. And I said well, that's, that's the mentality we, we are lacking right now. Um, I don't have an answer for you because I've been searching for that now for the last two or three games specifically. And... Maybe it's going to take that I have to sit some people on the bench in order to get that fire out of them. I really, I'm going to be searching for it because this was a game that was very winnable for us, and it should have been something we played better at home when we did not. Um, so I'm very disappointed, and I think that the team needs to understand that was a, that was a big deal. Like they, I know they get to move on with their, their life <laughs> tonight and yeah. tomorrow and get ready for finals, but I got to have to be the one that has to now start and figure out what what needs to happen, and they're going to have to play through it and figure it out as well. On the bright side, Delaney Williams only had two points at halftime, but she uh, had a nice second half, and she ended up in double figures today with uh, 11 points. Mm -hmm. I challenged her at halftime the fact that she'd only taken two shots in that first half. Now, some of it was the way they were guarding us. Yeah. And, you know, she was struggling to get open, but I think when we talked at halftime, she understood that she needed to, to get into pain a little bit more and, and create some things, and she did that. Yeah, well, one thing about this Tiger team, they've got so many girls that can put the ball in the bucket, but there's certain times when – when you're searching for them to put the ball in the bucket, but they've got the players who can do it. We've seen it before in the past. Mm -hmm. And they're, it's our lack of consistency. So then again, I have to make a decision if I'm going to now shorten the bench and I'm just going to go with a certain amount of players so they get the reps they need or everyone needs to start producing. It's one of those two things. Again, on the bright side, you do battle back and you have a wide open three by Alex at the end and it looks like it's on the way but just came up a little bit short. Well, you know, and she made the three, the, the yeah. three before that, like the because okay. we were down six and she hits that three. Um, you know, I would put the ball in Alex's hand again, and because especially how she's been playing, she ended up with, what was it, 18 points, um, 7 yes. percent from the field. You know, she she's doing her job, and she's playing a decent amount of minutes. So um, it wasn't drawn up for Alex, but I absolutely gave her the green light to take the shot. McKenna Baker seems to provide a spark when she gets in. She didn't score a lot, but she, she seems that she had a couple of really nice assists in that first half, mm -hmm. and, she, and she's a hustler out there. Yeah, you know, for McKenna, it's just when we're in those crucial moments, it's a – I want to keep her on the floor, but she yeah. has so much learning to go through, and so I'm typically kind of going with the returners that have been in those moments. Um, but McKenna's doing great things, and she did not shoot the ball very well tonight at all, so that, yeah. that um, did not help her stay on the floor at the end of the game. Muskingum going to Muskingum on Tuesday night. Uh, what do you know about the Muskies? I know nothing, honestly. Yeah. I've been focused on Kenya yeah. and getting through our conference. We have a full week to prepare, over a week to prepare now um, as we enter finals. So. Um, truthfully, I don't know anything. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I'm, well, I'm off. So yeah. it's, it's the 18th yeah. of the game. I'm thinking it's this Tuesday. No. It's actually a week from Tuesday. Week from you're Tuesday. right. Yeah. So you've got a little bit of time. The only bad thing is, and we talk about this, we talk about football. When you lose a football game, it's got to sit in your stomach for a whole week. And usually with baseball, basketball, you lose a game. It's not too long, but now no, you're, 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 you're sitting with this thing. To, and today's what? The, 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 the uh, eighth, right? Today's the eighth. And now they've got to sit there for 10 days before they get back on the court. And I said that it needs to sit with them. The, this needs to drive us a little bit forward here because we can't let this happen again. Well, Coach, as always, Class Act, thanks so much for taking time with us. Come up and talk uh, to us today. Uh, a tough one for the Tigers, 70-67. And we wish you good luck. And hopefully we'll be back on track here in 10 days when we go to Muskingum. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate All it. All right. Head Coach Kelly Malamo, we're glad you're with us today. I want to thank uh, Zarek uh, Porter and Manuel Tom's with us today. So from Pam and Smith Arena, this is Dave Williams. Everybody, thanks so much for listening to the Wittenberg Sports Broadcast. And our final Final score today, and a game from Pam Smith Arena, the Canyon Lady 70, the Wittenberg Tigers 67. Good afternoon, everybody.